Oh, hey guys. Didn't even notice you there. Let's be intellectual today. And I am going to be talking about my poetry collection. Say, what Emily? You're into poetry? And yes, let me give you a little background story. I wish I could wear my glasses, but you know, this ring light, you need like hidden it weird. Look at this, look, watch. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to stare at that all day. But I can wear it like this, yeah, I can just be tilted. All right, so in the seventh grade, I had recently got into poetry. Yeah, then after that, everybody started to get into poetry after that, honestly. Like, Milk and Honey came out, and then everybody was like, oh, poetry is good. And I'm like, I've been, I've been reading this for years, y'all. Years. Years. But anyways, I am going to tell you all about my poetry collection. I mean, it's not that big. It's not the hugest collection ever, but it's pretty good. Like, the poet in there is pretty good. So, there's a little couple old ones, and there's, a, I'm more into modern poetry, but there's a lot of old, old stuff you gotta decipher, if you know what I mean. If you ever read Walt Whitman, you gotta decipher that shit right there. But anyway, I'm gonna be telling y'all about my poetry collection. These are all the books I have to show to you today. And I'm going to start off with the oldest one, and also the dirtiest book of them all. Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. Where did I buy this from? I think I bought this from Books A Million. And you can see it's like very bookmarked. I got this in the 7th grade. I had read Paper Towns by John Green, if you guys know what that is. And... This was in there, and I was like, hey, I just saw, I was like, I wanted to read this, and honey, me being in the seventh grade, that was like the wrong ass decision, but it is pretty good, even though if you do have to decipher it, I'm not going to talk much about this book, because I, ha I still haven't finished it, I'm like halfway through it, and it's been like years. And, but the second oldest book, I think this was actually the first book I, first poetry book I ever bought. It is 100. It's like the poems by E. Cummings. This is, it's a little more older per se, but it's like, you can still understand it. E. E. Cummings, 100 Selected Poems by E. E. Cummings. One of my favorites. And after that, it's all modern. These are, these are all modern. Um, pretty sure this is the third book I ever bought that was in the poetry selection. Bought this from Barnes & Noble, and I also bought this one from Barnes & Noble, if y'all are wondering. I should start ordering on Amazon because they books be cheaper. But this one by Lang Leave. I don't know how to say her last name. I'm sorry, but it is like really good so this book is split into two like two different types of poems so the first part part one is about here now you can see that those are some pretty roses y'all pretty 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 and part two if i can find the break in the book stop reminding me break. the book's almost wrong um well, anyways, I don't know what part two is about, but it's called Memories, first of all. And it's mostly about love. I mean, me being in the seventh grade, again, I don't know anything about love. Now, I can say something about it. But it's, I really like this book because it has a lot. It has, like, being in love, being heartbroken, just, like, memories. So, it's pretty good. Memories, Lang, L, because I don't know how to say her last name. Alright, so, the next couple books, let me tell y'all, these four books, $10 and under at Barnes & Noble. 
I was broke at the time and it, I did not feel like buying expensive books because books are expensive as crap. So this one, this first one is by Ian S. Thomas. I'm pretty sure it's a guy. And it's called I Wrote This For You. I'm pretty sure they sell this at Target now. But this one is $10. And this is what the inside looks like. So it's like, it's not like really poetry. It's kind of like spoken words. It's just a bunch of notes that he wrote to his lovers. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. I didn't read it. I didn't read a lot of it because I've been reading more of my other books. And I really like the cover page of it. It's very beautiful. It's like, it's a little notebook. It's cute. So, next one is called Uncaged Wallflower by Janae Cecilia. And I for sure know this one is on Amazon and it's probably cheaper on Amazon. I think this one was like four or five dollars. It doesn't have a price on here. So, just to let y'all know. And I have read this whole book, but it's very. Like the poem, it's very, it's very small. Like look how thin it is. But the poems are very big too. Like they have big font sizes. So like as an example, like ours and his font's like kind of smaller. But there's more words, and he's more of a spoken word poet too. But like this one, I read it at school. Of course, people were like, "Why are you reading poetry, Emily?" And I was like. I want to bitch. What's wrong with that? Oh my god. <laughs> it is called, this book is called, It Starts Like This by Shelby Leah. It's a collection of poems. It's pretty short too. I'm pretty sure it was like under $5, y'all. Not that big of a deal, but if I could tell anything by this cover, it looks like it pretty much looks like a small artist. And there's no, I don't see the publisher cover art by Abby Pierce Illustration Legends. It looks like this one is more of a small poet. She doesn't have her publisher on here, but it was published in 2016. So. I love this book and I highly recommend it, y'all. Support Shelby because. I want to read more of her poetry and the more y'all support her the more she gonna like for real come out with more poetry because I want to read more poetry by her y'all her books are cheap come on how many times have you heard of a five dollar poetry book all right sin 16 17 dollars not even for a hardcover overpriced all right sin even though I love you. Support her, y'all. If you love poetry, support her, please. I want to read more. And we're going to read this one. The most famous book. And there is even a, what do you call those? A spoof? A spoof, a parody? A spoof parody book of it? The basic milk and honey. The But... Yeah, I, mean, I, I love this cover. I do want to get more of his books, but does it look like I got money? I got to pay for his stuff too, you guys, who's downstairs sleeping because I'm filming a video. And he, he hates the light, so. Okay, so we're going to my favorite poet, y'all. My favorite. Like, I love him. Like, I love him. Please send me all of your books. And you can see my ring light in my eyes. Alright, Sen. And very depressingly, I don't have whiskey, words, and a shovel. Volume 1. But I have volume 2 and 3. You're right. This is the first book I ever got from. But I'm going to let y'all in a little secret. R.H. book, R.H. Sin has most of his books on iBook for free. The whole book. 
if you don't want to spend the money and get the physical copy, go read his poems on iBook. Like, I mean, for real, y'all need to read these. Like, these, these touch your soul. Like, so a lot of them are short, right? But my soul was touched after reading all his books. And I only have three physical copies that will focus on the thing. I mean, it mostly has like white, so I, that's understandable. But like, I read all of them digital and then I went to go get the physical copy because I love having physical copies. Books, worth my money. Worth my damn money because I love artists and I, I will forever support him unless he abuses his wife. But from the way he writes about her in some of these books, I'm pretty sure he won't do shit to her. He just gonna love on her because his words are like every words a woman wanna hear. So the first one and the thinnest one is called I Hope This Reaches Her in Time. I bought this from Barnes and Noble and it was under ten dollars because it's so short. And it doesn't even have page numbers, y'all. That's like like look nowhere is there page numbers that is all for i hope this reaches her in time by Ari Sen. and now let's move, move to whiskey words and a shovel volume two and y'all i know i had to cut my nails and two of them are like not even painted i'm in a struggle right now i'm in the life crisis support him even though his books are expensive as crap, just buy them on Amazon or buy the digital copy if y'all have a Kindle or whatever. If you, if you even like reading digital copies, because I really can't. My eyes start hurting more than I read like physical copies. And I like holding the perfection in my hands. But y'all, like, for real, support him because I want to read more of his stuff and... He's coming out with a new book. I'm pretty sure if he hasn't came out with it yet, I haven't been updating myself because I've been so busy with he lives in school. Because EOCs are like tackling me, even though I have two. So, this is volume three. Don't sell, don't have volume one. Need to buy volume one. And by the way, I bought these two from Target. Like, if y'all don't want to buy online, y'all want to buy books. If they sell on my Target, they sell them for like 20% off what they have on my Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. So, highly recommend buying a Target. But, this one's, if it will focus, Whiskey Words in a Shovel, Volume 3, by the same author, same poet, R.H. Sin. And please don't look at my nails. I'm very embarrassed right now. Please, go support him again. And, y'all, that's, that's about it for my poetry book collection i told y'all i don't have much because books are expensive like, legit this one y'all can see that mm -hmm. i don't have that kind of money but for real um maybe y'all can go to the used bookstore if y'all have one around you and there is one located near us and if you know me and know my social media, just hit me up because I don't want to say where I live. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you my poetry collection if y'all were wondering. And I'm a little bookworm sometimes, but I am a bookworm when it comes to poetry. I'm not going to lie, like legit. I love oh, poetry all my heart and I need to buy more books to read. Keep me out of trouble, keep me off the streets because I'm not trying to go run off and be kicked out of the house. So, and I got a son to take care of. So, when I'm bored and he's sleeping, that's what I do if I don't have anything to do. But that is like really it, guys. I mean, I don't have a good outro. So, I love you guys. Please stay, please, please, please. Stay safe in the streets. I mean, like legit. So much is going on in the whole damn world. Stay safe. 
I love you all. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. Like this video. Leave a comment if you want to say something nice. Because don't need no haters. I'll block your haters. Put my hater blockers on. Block y'all haters out. Okay. Spray my hater repellent. And I'll see y'all later. Okay. Hey, what's up, everybody? So it's a couple days after shooting this video. And originally, this video was 33 minutes long. And so I cut the time more in half by separating me reading the actual poetry from the books to me showing my collection. So as you can see, the collection video went out first. And y'all stay tuned for a video maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. I don't know when I'm uploading it yet, but you will get to see and hear some ex excerpts of the books so yeah guys i love y'all stay safe in the streets